Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video what I'm going to be doing is telling you guys how to get started with machine learning. So I see these questions all the time from usually beginner or intermediate programmers asking me where they should start and what they should do to get into machine learning and artificial intelligence. So in this video what I'm going to be doing is telling you first of all what language you should be using slash learning, what kind of math background you need to do this, and then what process you should be following in terms of what should you learn first and where should you kind of move from there to get better and better with machine learning at a beginner level. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about how to get started with machine learning. Before we get started, I need to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Kite. Now Kite is a free plugin for your IDE or text editor that uses machine learning to give you the best possible completions for your Python code. It's capable of completing entire lines, entire function calls, and it ranks all of its completions by relevance so you get shown the best ones first. It even has another feature called Intelligent Snippets, which allows you to quickly tab through the different options and choose which completion you'd like. One of the coolest features that comes with Kite is called Copilot. Now what Copilot does is provide one-click documentation. It shows you information about modules, classes, methods, and functions based on your cursor location. Now the best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it at the link below. All right, so the first and probably the most important thing to talk about here is the language that you should be using for machine learning as a beginner just getting started. Now there's tons of languages that are designed specifically for machine learning like R and some other languages that I can't think of at the top of my head. And you can even do it in things like JavaScript and Java and all these other languages you can do machine learning and artificial intelligence in. Now the language I'm gonna recommend is Python. Now the reason I say this is because it's kind of the industry standard for machine learning and artificial intelligence and if you get a job in this field, chances are you're probably going to be using Python to do most of your work. Now it's great because you don't only use it for machine learning, it's capable of doing many other things and it's probably one of the easier languages to pick up and start using as a beginner. So that's why I recommend Python. It also has the most kind of modules and support for machine learning and artificial intelligence and if you're looking for tutorials and trying to learn how to do this, you're going to find the most support and resources in the Python language. So I recommend starting with Python. As you get more advanced, you can move into more specific languages, but Python is a great one to get started with. All right, so the next thing to talk about is math. Now, I know this scares a lot of people away because they always say, you know, I'm not very good at math. Can I get started with machine learning? I know machine learning is a lot of math. Do I need to know the math to do it? Now, the answer to this question is no. You do not need to be good at math to do machine learning. But if you are, it will help you tremendously. Now, let me explain this. You can go through and you can do any kind of machine learning tutorial. You can even, you know, probably get a job without understanding how a lot of the math for machine learning works. And you can use it fine and you can make predictions, you can create applications, you can do cool things. But if you understand how the math works, it makes everything so much easier and so much clearer. Because at the end of the day, machine learning is not just this black box that, you know, something comes in, something comes out. It's a very complicated mathematical algorithm written by, you know, professors and math experts and all you do is use this math that's already been created for you to get the outcome that you want. So if you can understand why this works and why things are happening the way they are, you're going to be much better and you're going to have a much clearer understanding of all of these things. All right, so now that we've picked a language and we understand how much math we need to know for machine learning or maybe how much math we don't know for machine learning, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the steps of machine learning. Now the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people that are getting into this don't understand what's actually involved in doing AI machine learning. They see some cool video of some guy who made some awesome machine learning project, did some cool artificial intelligence robot, whatever it is, and they want to get started. But let me just walk you through what actually goes into doing this because you might realize quickly that maybe this isn't exactly what you want to do or it's a little bit different than you were thinking. Now the first step in any machine learning kind of project is analyzing the problem or what you want to do. Figuring out what is my machine learning model going to do for me? Is it going to predict something? Is it going to create something? Is it going to recommend information? What is it going to do? Understanding the problem is important and that's how you're going to pick what algorithm you're going to use. Now after you do that, it's time for data collection. What data are we going to use for this machine learning algorithm? We know with machine learning and artificial intelligence, we need a ton of data, ton. Like sometimes you could be using terabytes of data to train a model. So what data do we need and where are we gonna get it from? 
After we do that, we have to clean the data. Not all of our data comes in um, nice and crisp like we might see in some data sets. We need to clean this out. We need to pick what we actually want. And that brings us into the next step, which is data selection. We have tons of data, but is all of it relevant to our problem? Is all of it relevant to what we want to do? Answer is usually no. So that involves now, you know, we collect the data, we pick what we want, and we have to pick the important things that we're actually going to use in our model. Now, after we do that, what do we do? We have to pick what model we're going to be using, what algorithm we're going to use, how we're actually going to solve this problem using machine learning or using artificial intelligence. Now after that we've picked what model we're going to use we need to train that model so feed all that data in and after that we need to validate the model we need to test its accuracy we need to see if this actually made sense and if it did something and then what we need to do is keep doing this again we need to keep tweaking the model and making it better and better and better until it can't get any better anymore. So notice that in this the actual machine learning part of this, like running the algorithm and training and testing the model is not a major part of this. A major part of this is picking what algorithm we're going to be using and picking the correct data. And that's a massive part of machine learning. And that's what's going to bring me into my next point here on where we need to get started with machine learning. The first thing that I always say to people and the first kind of thing you need to do is make sure you understand the basics of the language that you're using. And maybe even more than the basics, kind of like the intermediate concepts involved with that language, like objects and classes and all of that. So for this video, I've recommended Python for machine learning. Learning. So if you're going to use that, make sure you know how Python works. You know the syntax and you know all of that because these beginning steps involve understanding Python to pick out your data, to clean it, to select it, to do everything you need to do because data is the most important part of our machine learning applications usually other than the model. Now once you've done that, you've understood the basics and you feel confident in the language, it's time to actually move into machine learning. Now there's so many different areas of machine learning and artificial intelligence. So I'm going to just specify where I recommend beginners kind of start because there's so many places you could go. Now, I always say to learn the basic algorithms first. Now, this is not fun. Most people don't, you know, brag about using these algorithms, but they're really important to understand and they are fundamental. And if you actually want to understand how things work and kind of slowly progress in the correct order, this is where I would say you should start. The first algorithm I always recommend you learn is called linear regression. It's very simple. Anyone above the age of 14 or 15 should be able to understand how this works just based on some simple math principles. And it is powerful in being able to predict some specific information. Now, just before I go too far, I do have a tutorial series on my channel that kind of covers the sequence that I'm talking about here. If you'd like to check that out, there is a card here, but continue watching the video before you go over to that. So the next thing that I say you should learn after linear regression is K nearest neighbors. Now this is a more advanced algorithm and is very, very powerful. K nearest neighbors is used for tons of different applications and even some of the most advanced AI we have uses K nearest neighbors to do specific things and to cluster information. Now this one's nice because it's kind of a different flavor from linear regression. It's not predicting a number but it's actually classifying information into groups. Now you'll see how that works when you kind of learn this but I just want to tell you that the, these are different algorithms. They do very different things. Now the next thing I recommend you learn is support vector machines. Now these are more advanced. Um, they deal with high dimensional data and this is where your math is going to be tested a little bit and understanding exactly how these work. Now once you've done these three algorithms and I mean you've done them you understand exactly how they work you've practiced them on a few different data sets I will kind of allow you to move into whatever area you want now and I'm going to give you some suggestions but what I mean is I always want people to get started with these because this teaches you the basics of machine learning which I've talked about before. Data selection, data cleaning, the importance of data and really just you know having appreciation for how difficult it is to make an accurate model. So once you've done this now you can kind of move into the area that you're most interested in. Now, I usually recommend starting with something simpler like Q learning, which is actually a very powerful algorithm that's used usually to train things to play like video games. It's known as reinforcement learning, and that's its whole own strain of artificial intelligence and machine learning. But once you've kind of done Q learning, you can do things like neural networks, you can do um, like computer vision, you can do all of these different things. But start with those three things, so linear regression, k nearest neighbors, and support vector machines, and then move to where you want to go. Q learning is good if you're trying to train video games to play things. Neural networks are just kind of used for everything, and there's tons of tutorials out there. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to use neural networks as well. 
And then there's some other different strains of AI that you'll start to learn as you move more into this field. All right, so for those of you that watched the video up until this point, I wanna start by saying thank you and I wanna leave you guys with something to reward you for really actually paying attention and doing this. Now, I'm assuming most of you have some experience with programming, but if you don't, you're brand new to Python and you really just wanna get started, I do have a premium programming course that goes through the basics of Python and covers everything that you kinda of need to know to get ready for machine learning. If you'd like to enroll in that, I'm gonna be giving you guys 30% off just for watching the rest of this video. Um, you guys can use the code, it's gonna be up here somewhere um, and enroll in the description down below. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about what to do and where to get started, leave them down below and I'll definitely try to help you out. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos about machine learning and stuff.